back to my channel, Glow with Candace, and if you're new here, welcome. I'd love to see you back. So hit the subscribe button down below to see future videos like this and more by me. And don't forget, hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified for any future uploads of mine. So I am so sorry I have been MIA. I've only done one video since my daughter has been born. And then when I tried to film that, it was a complete utter disaster. And so I am so sorry, mom life is no joke. It literally consumes my life, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. But I have totally missed filming and I've totally missed doing my hair and makeup and I've missed you guys. So I'm really happy to be doing another video for you guys. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be getting more content out a little bit more regularly than of course it has been the last few months. So I am so happy to be back, so happy to be filming today and I can't wait to share this with you guys. So because mom life has been so busy and so time consuming, I haven't really been able to do my hair or my makeup. Uh, <laughs> it's been hard because I, I have a baby that is content for a few minutes and then oh, she starts to cry and then I have to consult her and it just, it doesn't work. So lately I have been seeing this ad on Instagram of the Beach Waver curling wand or curling iron. Now this has been on like TikTok videos and all over the place, but I hadn't really paid much attention to it until recently and I saw it and they claim that you can do your hair pretty fast with it because it twirls itself. I mean, you hit some buttons and it twirls itself. So I thought, well, I love my T3 wand. I absolutely love it, but I don't have the time like I used to to sit down and do my hair. If this actually works and works well and fast, this could be my new thing if I'm in a time crunch and I don't have time to sit down and do my hair because my baby's being fussy. So I purchased one and I had a coupon, so I didn't purchase it for full retail value either. So I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. I'm gonna use it for the first time and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks and then I'll give my first impression at the end of this. Of course too, there are some buttons to it to make it twirl. So I know initially I'm not gonna be fast with it until I learn to use it and learn how to work with it. So eventually I hope to have a real, real honest review on it. But of course initially I won't be able to tell you, yeah, this is faster than my T3. So that is gonna be an initial way to know the answer to that one. So first of all, you can buy some Beach Waver stuff at Ulta. Um, I didn't really know this until recently, but there's more selection on the Beach Waver website, which is where I went. And they have all different kinds of color options and they come out with new styles regularly, so that's pretty neat. Um, sadly, there was a really cute glitter one that I saw and I really wanted it, but it was like a special Christmas limited edition and so, yeah, I wasn't able to get that, but I got the beautiful sunset one, which is a beautiful pink and purple ombre. So I'm happy with that as well. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It came delivered in its initial packaging. So it was literally just in the Beach Waver box and you open it up and well, there it was. So I'm not gonna show you the outside packaging because it looks pretty beat up because it came delivered that way. So, so this is the Beach Waver B1 Sunset. So very pretty, beautiful, like pink to purple ombre, or I would say like a light purple pinky color here. Very, very pretty. Uh, this is a one inch barrel, so um, I love 1.25, that is my absolute favorite, but my T3 doesn't have a curling wand like that. It, I only have it in my curling iron. So um, as you know, like those give you different looks. So one I'm happy with for a curling wand. It, it does a pretty good job, standard. So you have these buttons here that make it twirl to whichever direction you're looking for. It has a tiny little clamp, which I've heard a lot of people um, complain about, but honestly, I'm using it more as a wand, not a curling iron, so I'm fine with a tiny clamp. We'll see how I feel about that when I start using it. Um, and then it has a long cord here. So I'm just gonna... Also, the power button is down below here and it has three different heat settings which give you more description on the website, which I'm gonna read about that real quick. So that way you guys know 
what it is. So initially for $99, but I purchased it on sale. Um, you can usually get 20 to 30% off. Um, right now it's currently on sale for $69.30. Uh, this is a limited edition pink sunset rotating beach waver and it's a medium sized barrel that is perfect for any hair type and texture. It's a ceramic barrel and it's a dual voltage 100 to 250, uh, 240 making it travel friendly. Um, it goes both directions as I showed you those two little arrows. Um, depending on the type of style and beach waver you get, um, some are a little bit easier to operate since this is a little bit of one of their cheaper uh, curling wands. It's just the arrows, but there are some where it's a little bit more scientific, <laughs> but I didn't want to purchase that much. And two, they're not as pretty. Like I love how this is an ombre color. So the three heat settings that I was showing you um, it is low, which is 290, so that's the first bar. Medium, which is 350, which is the second bar. And this is all in Fahrenheit too, by the way. And then high is 410, which um, that's pretty high temperature. So depending on the type of hair that you have, you're gonna want to hit a different heat. I usually, um, on my, T um, on my T3, <laughs> I said T waiver like I combined the two. <laughs> but um, on my T3, I usually try to go um, about 250 to 300. So unfortunately, um, the medium is 350, so that's a little higher than I like to go. Um, so I probably will try it low to start off, and then if I feel like I really need a little bit more to get that curl to stay, I'll use medium or for however long it takes to heat up. Now inside the box, it came with no instructions. It was literally just the box and this in cardboard inside the box. So this is all that it came with, but it seems pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, it does have a little rest here, so when it is heated up, you can just set it down wherever you are doing your hair. And of course on the site, there really isn't a whole lot to say about it, um, except you know, what I had read to you guys. So it's pretty simple, which I love. Um, and you know, it feels like the top may not get hot. I'm, I don't know. And I don't know if I want to test that out by touching it when it's hot, but that's something I love about my T3 is I can touch the tip or accidentally touch it and I'm not going to burn my fingers. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if that happens with this. So I haven't done my hair yet. I am wanting to do that with you guys and just kind of use it for the first time and see how it goes. So one thing I am now noticing as I have plugged this in is the cord is 360. So I love that because I don't know about you guys, but I hate having a curling iron or a curling wand that has a fixed cord and you go to use it and it's stuck and it you're stuck and you don't do the curl properly because, well, it doesn't flex with you. <laughs> so I love how this is completely 360. Um, that's another thing that my T3 has as well that I, I love about it. So definitely um, I'm loving that factor too. Also, this seems pretty hand friendly how it's tapered here for holding. So that's something that feels well in my hand, just noticing. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Now I'm guessing for the for the heat, you're gonna like double press it. So it automatically sets on the second setting. I think I wanna go to the first setting to start off and if I feel like I want the other setting, I will go back to it, but I'm just gonna double click. Okay. I don't even have to double click, it's just a one click thing. So here, I'm just gonna click it once. It's hard to show you guys on camera, but you literally just click it once and it goes to what? And then when you wanna turn it off, you hold it. And then it'll stop blinking. So it automatically starts in the middle though. So I'm gonna go to the first setting just for the heck of it and let it warm up. While it's doing that, I am just going to taper my hair here. So 
something I didn't do was grab a mirror. So I am also gonna go grab a mirror real quick so I can look a little bit more close up instead of at my camera. You guys, I just did some risky business. I just touched the tip of this off camera, but <laughs> I'm doing it now and it's just warm, it's not hot. So I'm happy about that too because that's another thing I love about my T3 is the tip doesn't get hot so if I touch it on accident I'm not gonna burn myself and it seems like this is the same way. Don't get me wrong, it is a little warm um, and I can feel the heat coming off of this, like it feels pretty hot. So I'm very um, glad that I won't be burning myself on accident. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I like to layer my hair off in two, sometimes three sections. We're just gonna do two today. Um, and I'm gonna talk through a little bit of this and then I'm just gonna do the rest of it without talking to you guys and then give you my overall look and overall opinion of this Beach Waver B1 one inch ceramic barrel. So depending on the kind of look you wanna give, they say to go um, midway with the clamp. However, um, well I think, from what I have read, that depending on where you go with the clamp will give you a different kind of little look with it. And you can look on Instagram and YouTube, it shows you a few different of the looks. Um, I'm just gonna do it how like I normally do my hair. <laughs> So I like to leave a little bit at the bottom, of course, that gives it that beach look. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and wing it. And then of course, like you're gonna want to rotate, depending on which way you are facing or you're wanting your curl to face. And of course you want it to go outward. So, wow, <laughs> that's gonna take some getting used to. And of course, like, looking at the mirror because I don't know about you guys but when I first was teaching myself how to curl my hair it was hard looking in the mirror and trying to figure out which way to curl away it took me forever just because everything's backwards <laughs> all right so I'm gonna start with this side of my hair first and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with a little piece here and I am going to kind of use it like how I do Oh my gosh, I'm already wanting to try and curl. I'm trying to curl. Okay, that's the wrong way. I'm trying to curl how I normally do with a curling wand. So I have it up a little bit, but I'm gonna use the clamp to come down a little bit. I like to do that to kind of, oh, I'm trying to do it. See, it's gonna be a hard habit to break because I naturally want to do it myself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is hard, okay. I naturally want to curl it how I've always curled my hair. It's just gonna be a hard habit to break. And I think even though I'll be flipping in between this and then of course, let's see here. Um, oh, look at that, that's great. Um, I think as I flip in between, cause I'm still gonna use my T3, I just wanna use this when I know I don't have the time or I wanna go quicker. But the thing is, um, I think it's gonna be hard to do because um, I naturally just want to flip, you know, and go <laughs> how I normally do with the curling. But um, I think once I get the hang of this though, it'll be, it'll be really nice. And then I just like slightly open it and pull down. Wow, that's, so far I'm really loving how the curl looks. Um, of course, I'm gonna wait till I have my hair completely curled before I run my fingers through. But so far, it, my hair is looking soft. So just a little um, FYI, this hair, it's morning here and I washed it last night about 10 o'clock. So, I, you know, don't have completely clean, like it's clean, but it's not like I just washed it this morning clean. So the one thing I am struggling with is um, when I want to do the clamp, oh, when I want to do the clamp and um, twirl my hair, the buttons aren't always, oh no, wrong way. 
The buttons aren't always oh, in the right spot because, you know, it twirls itself. So that's something I'm, oh goodness, twirl, 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 ah, wrong way. That's another thing. It's gonna be hard to get used to the, the twirling direction, <laughs> but we'll get the hang of it. It's gonna take some work. So I, like I said, initially, this is not gonna be telling you, yeah, it's faster because obviously I'm getting used to it myself. So it's, I'm not gonna be fast the first few times I use this and with anybody, I mean, and, Tell you, you use something a few times, you don't really get fast with it. And some people might even say, well, I'm really fast with a normal curling wand or a curling iron, so I don't really want to try that. And you're absolutely right, like some people are fast with it. However, um, I feel like for me, it's really hard. Um, I do ultrasound for a job, so my shoulders, aren't the greatest. Um, I'm constantly, you know, moving my shoulders with work and over time, you know, repetition is kind of hard on the body. So I, my shoulders kind of bother me. And so when I'm doing my hair, it actually kind of hurts sometimes and depending on my work situation. So um, I kind of liked the idea of this, of me not being having to be like this the whole time. Um, in fact, that kind of hurt when I just did that. So I, I thought that that was appealing to me as well. So that was another reason why I was interested in this is I thought, well, if it's a little bit faster and if I also, you know, can save my shoulder a little bit, you know, maybe it's worth the try. So as you can see here, I'm starting to kind of get the hang of it. Um, I'm gonna bring the clamp down just a little bit. I like to do that. I start with the clamp kind of in the middle-ish and I bring the clamp down just a little bit. Um, I do that when I curl my hair as well. Some people, they use this wrong and they try to rotate it the opposite direction to let go, but you just open the clamp slightly and you pull down and voila, there you have your curl.
All right, you guys, so this is the final look. Honestly, I love the look. It's nice and soft, and this was on the lowest heat setting too. Granted, my hair is already naturally curly and wavy, so um, for me, lower heat settings work uh, good for me. Um, might not necessarily work as great for you, but it's great to know that the lowest seat setting works for me. Um, we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. Um, I don't usually wear hairspray either, so that'll also be another telltale tell tale. Because with the two T3, I'm just all tongue tied. I'm sorry, guys. But with the T3, uh, normally with that one, my curls just last long, and that's something that I love about it. So let's go over how I feel about this. Honestly, um, I'm loving how fast I actually was with it for the first time of use. So I definitely feel like it's easier to use than actually like doing your hair normally, like manually with your hands. Like this actually made me go faster even though I slipped up a few times, like with a couple curls on this side, I went the opposite direction with the curl. Um, and then there were a few different times where I would hit the wrong button. And when I meant opposite direction is I had it face this way instead of that way. Um, so I did that a couple times, but once I started to get the hang of it, it was actually not too bad. Um, and I feel like it did cut back some time. I was even able to multitask and talk to my husband while I was doing my hair. And this was for the first time of use of this. So um, I feel like it's not as hard. Uh, as I was initially thinking the first use was gonna be. So I think the more I use it, the faster I'm gonna be, which I'm loving if I'm just trying to do a fast look. Now, um, one thing I do love is the tip. It's warm, especially by now since I'm all done. Um, it's pretty warm, but it's not hot. Like I'm not gonna burn myself on it. This clip is pretty short. And so I thought, well, I don't know if I'm gonna love it. I don't know if I'm gonna hate it, but um, I think with having the short clip, you just have to be careful because sometimes my hair would fall out, um, particularly if I was working with a part that was pretty layered and shorter. Um, I had to make sure I went like a little bit higher up so it wouldn't fall out as I'm curling it. Um, and I also feel like too, you can't go as thick with your chunks because it is shorter, like not as much hair can fit in there. Um, the one complaint um, I do have is like occasionally when you are curling or whatever with where your finger ends up with the clamp, you know, let me turn it back on so I can show you guys. Um, wherever your finger ends up with the clamp, like if you rotate this, you know, like, well, I want to get it into a spot where it kind of, okay, so like here, it's like back here, but your buttons are here. So it can be kind of hard to release, but I only had that happen a few times during uh, the actual doing of my hair. And then of course, if you wanted to level back out when you're all done and you want to do the next curl, you can just rotate it. Um, one concern that I do have is how long is this motor gonna last on this? Cause with the other products, you know, it's just the heat mechanism. But this, it also has like a motor so it can twirl. So it makes me wonder, well, how long is that gonna last? And then of course, like how frequently you use it. So with me, I feel like it's gonna last, it should last a long time since I don't curl my hair all the time and I also have my T3 that I like to use. I will say though, I love the fact I didn't have to hold my shoulder up, which for me, is kind of game changer because my shoulders are kind of bad. So um, I do like the fact, so if somebody has bad shoulders or you know you can't use two hands, like this is nice to be able to do it with one hand. I think I just have to get used to it because I was like holding it, trying to figure out the buttons. Once I get used to the buttons, I feel like I could easily do this with one hand and have one hand available, which if I am having a fussy baby, I can easily like try and multitask a little bit, like bouncer in the bouncer, whatnot, while I'm trying to do my hair, versus when I have my T3 and I'm doing it like this, I don't have a hand available to help my baby out. So uh, I kind of like how once I learn this a little bit more, it should be able to go one-handed. Obviously too, the design is really pretty. They came out with a neon collection not that long ago. That's really pretty. Um, so 
they do have cool designs that come out and they do have sales fairly often. So some of their more higher end curling wands are a little bit more expensive. Um, this one was one of the cheapest, which was $99. So, uh, but like I said, I didn't pay full retail value because I had a coupon. So I think I ended up paying 70 something for it, which to me is great. Um, and a one inch barrel is pretty standard and you could do some cool looks um, with it because it shows on Instagram. I saw that there's three different ways depending on how you curl your hair and where you go with the curl on your hair. Um, so that's pretty cool too. So you could get a more relaxed look and it showed a little bit more a tousled look. Um, and then just a more like, mm, I wanna call it like romantic, but just a more of a tighter curl, I guess is the best way to describe it. But of course, if you're looking for beach waves, that's what this brand is for, is the beach waver. So, um, and that's what is really popular right now are the beach waves. Overall, I think this is really great. Um, I'm loving it so far and it did go pretty fast for even a first time use for me. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, like I said, I just had a few concerns about, well, how long is that motor gonna last? Um, and how the clamp lines up when you're done twirling, um, that can be kind of annoying with the buttons. Um, and then of course that clamp being smaller, you just, you can't use too much hair in each section that you use. And then if you do have shorter hair, I noticed that you have to come up a little bit higher up on the hair with the clamp so it doesn't fall out so easily. Thanks for stopping by with Glow with Candace. I hope you enjoyed this first impression and real time use of the Beach Waver B1 Sunset curling wand. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button down below. And if you're new here and want to stick around for future videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you back. But until next time, bye.